Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. Got things on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Jorginho, the kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that. Going for goal! Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Yeah. Seferovic. Good interception. Switzerland not happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. Huh? Yeah, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Chiellini. Forenzi. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, both sides seem happy with the paper. It's Immobile! Italy score first! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled.
Italy draw first blood here. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Seferovic. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And that's been well dealt with. Chiesa. Pellegrini. Immobile. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected. It's a corner. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from the forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, the striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. He's come loose. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Ricardo Rodriguez. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Oh, he's not going to get that. to the keeper. Florenzi. Thirty minutes gone. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. And here's Immobile. That's a pop! And it's hoisted clear. And it's Verratti. And through to the goalkeeper. Seferovic. Seferovic has it in a wide position, so what next? Seferovic. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Pellegrini, who set up one goal so far. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Immobile. Forward it goes. And it's Seferovic. And that's clear cut, that's a free kick. He's had a look. Run it, Chaka. Just brushed off the ball there. Back to the keeper and go again. And that will be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But look, it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticky. No one's afraid to have a go. Italy come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Start of another 45 minutes. Italy going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Seferovic, Fernandez. Now it's Immobile. Chiesa. Done very well to intervene. Granit Xhaka.
Fernandez. Switzerland going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Fernandez, Jorginho gets it back, Pellegrini, and it's Immobile. Battles to win it back. Now it's Immobile. Florenzi. Chiesa, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Definitely done. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Spinazzola. Spinazzola drives it forward. That's Verratti. Now it's Immobile. Impression so far, Jim. They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all done a little timid. Time for a change in personnel. <laughs> That's a good foot in there. And he's certainly caught in there. It's a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Switzerland grab the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Jorginho. Chiesa. Oh, it's Immobile. And he's straight offside. up to 75 minutes good challenge he just stood firm oh, he's caught in there it's a free kick Sit forward. And here's Immobile. And it's Verratti. And here's Immobile. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb.
Lorenzi tries to get it forward quickly. This is intriguing. Next goal critical. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go for it territory right now. He's got away. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. A real chance if he can get... Goes to finish! Jorginho gets it away. And it's been taken straight back. Jacka tips one through. Shakes to shoot! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defence out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. He's picked it out. Oh, Rich has a pop! Oh, it's in! And that has raised the roof! Switzerland are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting. To... And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Well, it's a pretty poor start, there's no disguising it. All they can do is to try to recover it from here on in. It is a tough test. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance needed to prevail. If they have it, the only way is up.